Hey everyone, let's finish up our sweet as pie bench pillow. Hey everyone, Kristen Salm here, and we are going to finish up our sweet as pie bench pillow. So we're going to do the backing and a label and the embellishments. There's only a couple of embellishments, so this should be pretty doable. Um, excuse this, I'm getting over seven days of a really, really, really bad flu bug. So um, this is as good as it's going to get right now. Anyway, so we are going to use our backing fabric. It is um, a light tan with white little petaled flowers on it. And um, I think we have, I don't remember, um, I don't remember how much we start with, but either way, um, whatever came in your fabric kit, and then we're gonna cut the two ends. So first cut off the salvage, and then um, cut 10 inches on one end and 10 inches on the other end, and we'll go over all the rest in photos. Um, and then for the label, um, I'm gonna show you um, a basic way to do a label if you choose. So um, you can use any design that you think will be cute for this. I found um, a pie banner that I have and I'm going to change that up just a bit to add my name and date to it and take off the banner part of it. Um, Kimberbell does have a cute pie design. It came in one of the, um, the extra packs or you can certainly use one from our existing CD. I just wanted to do something really simple. Um, and very basic, but you could absolutely, anything that you think of, um, there's a lot of cute designs out there and it's really easy to make your own label. So we'll do that and then we'll also do the last couple of embellishments and then our sweetest pie bench pillow will be done. Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you real quick how to make your own uh, label for your pillow if you choose. So I start by opening up my spreadsheet and I have one that's specific to Thanksgiving and fall and then I have all of my pie designs here. So this is the one I was telling you about that Kimberbell does have, this I Love Pie. That was That's really cute and you could use some brilliance to make your name kind of angled and fun stuff there. I don't remember where I got it, though. I think it was an add-on from a class. Um, so what I'm going to use is this one. This is so cute. This is a pumpkin pie banner by Parker on the Porch. And it's a banner, so I'll have to make some very small changes, but that's a good one. This also would be a very simple one with a lot of room to be able to write stuff on it. So anyway, just look through your designs and see if you have something that looks fun. And um, like I said, you can also use one that's already on the CD. So whatever works for you. So real quick, I'm going to open up in Brilliance. <clears throat> it says I'm on my 10 by 10 hoop. I'm going to change it to my 8 by 8. All right, there I went to my Preferences folder. And I'm going to click the H button here so it zooms into my hoop. All right, and then Merge Stitch File. And I have my designs on my external drive. Give me a second to find that. All right, and I'm just going to use the smallest one. This 5x7 will work fine. 
and I'm going to rotate it just since I have some changes to make to it and it'll be easier if I can see it the right way. So this left button here, rotate 90 degrees. And then um, the first thing I know I need to do is take off the banner pieces. So um, it's a little bit confusing to try and figure out what everything is, but I can see this is the main piece, which is probably the crest. And then the, outline, the tack down of that and placement of the pie and the tack down of the pie that's just a line i think and then placement and tack down for the whipping cream and here we have um, this is the design the little face design and i am going to take those off um, so that i have room for my name i'm going to take off the cute little um, face all right and then this is part of that banner this is so that you can put a string through the back of it so I'm going to go ahead and delete that, and that, and that. All right, and then that's an outline of it all. I don't know if I even need that, actually. Let's see. I don't think I will. I'm going to go ahead and delete that, too. All right, so very basic. All right, and then I'm going to go to this lettering so create letters with this a button up here and i'm going to highlight the text and i'm going to type my name and hit return and this is using it it came up to um the font that's embedded within um in brilliance when you purchase in brilliance you get a few fonts with it and I, i'm going to use something I don't know, I didn't even start to look at, at, at different font options, but um, you can just look through them and decide what looks good. I just really want something basic and simple. These um, script ones are going to be too fancy for me, I think. So the strawberry whipped cream might be good. Let's see. Mm, that's pretty cute. All right, I'm going to go with this, I think, if I can make it small enough. Let's see. So I'm going to go ahead, and if I hit the Control button, and um, yeah, it didn't do what I thought it would do. That's okay. It's not the day for extras. <laughs> All right, so I'm just using the outer button to be able to resize it and, it, and it will tell you if you've gone too small. It won't let you do it anymore, and this worked out fine, so that's great. All right, and then... I'm going to add another wording, and this one I'm just going to add 2022. So the font that I used is by Designs by Juju. It's strawberry whipped cream. Oh, whipped cream. How funny is that? That's perfect for a whipped, for a pie. All right, so 2022, and then I'm going to just bring it down here and make it smaller. All right, so... If I were to put this in the middle, it's not going to look very centered to me. So I think I'm just going to visualize center instead. Have a little bit of room on each side. So you can see this is like the simplest thing in the world to make your own label. Um, you want to have enough room for your felt. Um, I'm going to use felt. You could certainly use fabric, but felt is is nice on a label. I like it for some reason. I'll bring this in just a tiny bit. All right, so I have a little bit of room on each side, and then I've got the date, and that's great and so easy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just save this. So I'll do a file, save stitch file as, and it's bringing it into my quilting design. That's not where I want it, so I'm going to move it to my um, external drive where I have the pie. Save. So one thing is that if you think you want to make any changes and you're using a font, um, it's a good idea to do a working file because a working file will let you make changes on your font. I know I'm fine with mine, very easy going today since I'm not feeling super well, um, but if you think you might want to make any changes to your font, save as a working file is a good idea. You could do both, so save as right here. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, um, stitch and working. All right, um, my machine's not on, so I'm not going to send it, but 
Um, that's how easy that was. Very simple. And like I said, I'm going to stitch this on felt. Um, again, just something simple to do. You can change the colors of your wording if you wanted that as it is right now, this will all stitch together. So actually, I think I will change um, the color of this just so that if I get there and decide, oh, I want the date to be a different color, I'm just going to go ahead and change that. So if I go to the color tab right there, click on the color and change it to anything else, just so that there will be a stop. You can see that there's the letters for my name and then the, the letters there. And um, as far as location, since I'm not doing a back piece, the having it at the very end of the file is totally fine. So I'm going to leave that as is. I need to resave it since I made that small change. So I'm going to do a save stitch file as, and I'm going to just click on the one that I already created and say, yes, I want to replace it. Easy, right? All right. I, I look forward to seeing your labels.
So on the gratitude front, how was your Thanksgiving? I hope you had a wonderful time. I had a very, very, very full house with lots of sick children, mostly sleeping most of the time, but we did fit in some games here and there. And, you know, it was just nice to be together. So it was a very nice Thanksgiving. I hope you had a nice one too. And my house is a mess. <laughs> Christy, where's my lasso? <laughs> Kristen Somm here and I have a guest with me because we are going to work on a special project. This is Christy with Daylily Fabric Shop. What is our project, Christy? Merry Christmas, y'all. All right. <laughs> so I've got my cowboy jacket on and my cowgirl shirt on. We are ready. We just don't have a lasso. <laughs> no, we don't have a lasso, but when your project's finished, your cowboy will have a lasso. Oh, good one. You're right. You're right. Okay, so what is our coupon code? It is Kristen Y'all. C-R-I-S-T-I-N-Y-A-L-L. 10% off. 10% off and all in caps. All in caps. All in caps at the Daylily Fabric Etsy shop. I will add a link underneath the video for all the information. So the 10% off is good for the fabric kit, which is so cute. And it comes, look at the lasso. There's our lasso. <laughs> so the fabric kit comes with all the embellishments that we need for the project. And mm -hmm. you will get 10% off on this using that coupon code of Kristen Y'all in caps. And then there's also an optional thread kit which does not come with the box. It just has the nine threads and I will list them all. Look at how pretty these colors are. And they're different ones than the usual ones that we've used. So there is, this is my favorite for some reason. I don't know, it's called Cleopatra. There's cranberry mm -hmm. and forest and Kryptonite. Kryptonite. <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good one. That's cool. I did my best at trying to match at, all the colors yeah. with the glitter sheets and the, the rest of the pillow. Yeah. So, Perfectly. and then I also included the standard white because because I'm almost out. <laughs> you never know when you need more white. Yeah, you always need more white. So this blue is a different blue than we're used to. Also, mm -hmm. what is it? sky oh that's pretty look at how pretty that is and it goes look at how nicely it goes with the glitter didn't she do a great job so she made this thread kit for us uh -huh. and it's glide threads which we are used to and enjoy so some other things that we will need for this project is there's a 18 by 18 pillow a lot of people already have uh, the pillow insert from previous projects that they just insert, but if you need a new one, we'll have some plenty in stock. All right, perfect. And then uh, we will need wash away topper. I don't have that, so I'm just going to show you this so that you remember at, that we will need wash away topper for his beard and his eyebrows, eyebrows and his mustache. Okay, so you will need wash away topper 
for this project. Mm -hmm. And then the usual stabilizers. So let's talk about those real quick. So uh, the light mesh cutaway, this is what we use in our hoop on almost all of our projects. And all of these items you can get from our sponsor at Daylily Fabric Shop. She's gonna have all of these mm -hmm. items available for us. And then the Kimberbell Fusible Backing, this is what we put on the back of all of our fabrics to keep them from puckering. And then we need our project batting. We always need lots of project batting. I'm always ordering project batting. <laughs> we go through a lot of project batting. So you will need these three items for this project mm -hmm. and the fabric kit, which comes with the embellishments, the optional thread kit. I know you guys all love the thread kits. It makes it so easy to not have to go through your stash and figure out what goes with what. Christy already did that for mm -hmm. us. <laughs> yep. One important thing is this project uses a six by 10 hoop. Yes, so that's super important. If your largest hoop is a five by seven, this project will not work for you. I'm sorry. Um, every now and then there are ones that are six by 10 and up. Mm -hmm. So anything six by 10 and up will work for this one. So I know a lot of people have been asking for this project. It is now available. Um, and Christy and um, her husband, John, are shipping from Day Lily Fabric Shop right away. As soon as you order, you will get yep. your, your kits ready for you. There's no, it's not a pre-order, they're ready. And the other thing is that we are going to use the quilting. There's a quilting, is it a bundle? Do you know that? I believe there's a quilting bundle. And where do they get that? They'll be able to get that at Kimberbell.com. But and you can use my affiliate link. Please do. Always use the sponsor's affiliate link. Don't go to just Kimberbell.com. Go to the affiliate link that we have under every video for our sponsor because that gives a little kickback to our sponsors that are working so hard to make these um, projects available for us. So always use an affiliate link whenever possible. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the thread kit, fabric, um, and it, you said that it's under latest and greatest when they so when you buy yes. that's another thing is when you buy the design the design is does not come on a cd this comes off of the kimberbell website so again use the affiliate link to purchase that and the quilting mm -hmm. designs and it is under latest and greatest but I, what i think is really easy is if you just type in mary under m-e-r-r-y in the search bar then everything comes up for mary merry christmas y'all it doesn't work if you type in y'all i tried <laughs> It doesn't. It has to be Mary, M-E-R-R-Y, and that works. And then the pillow insert if you need it. We are going to do this project after we do Sweetest Pie. So we're not doing it right away, but go ahead and place your orders now to get your products ready. And we're already jamming through a cup of cheer, so hopefully it won't be too long before we can start on this Christmas project. And like I said, they are shipping right away, so go ahead and get started. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. The only thing I was going to mention is when we did go to Kimberbell and we went upstairs into the design center, it was fun to see all of the original sewing patterns. And this is one of Kim's first oh, that she did. Oh, I don't think I knew that. I did, yep. Oh, very cool. That yeah. is cool. Well, so yeah. it's fun to see the patterns, the old sewing patterns, original designs from Kimberbell coming back, to coming back in <laughs> digital form. And you can do the sewing pattern as well. That's yeah. still a download oh. as well for those so that do so. So we have to be careful to make sure to order the embroidery and one for those of us that are Make sure you order an embroidery one. All right, good to know, good to know. And hey, it comes with the lasso. That's really all we need to know, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you're ready to do Merry Christmas, y'all with me, place your orders and we will do it very soon. Thank you very much, John, and I truly, truly appreciate the ability to sponsor you on such fun projects. We appreciate it so much. Thanks. All right, guys. Hey, you guys, so I have to show you, we spent 12 hours together today and we're still buddies. We're still friends. <laughs> After 12 hours. But look at what we made. What is this, Christy? It's perfectly pieced. Yeah. July, we're a month July, behind, but we're, we're catching so up. Behind. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. We signed up for it at the uh, quilt festival in Utah and got it then, but just now are making time to do it. But how cute. If you guys haven't joined in for perfectly pieced, these are really cute. And notice that ours are different. So you can put it together in several different ways. Pretty fun. Anyway, just wanted to share that. Bye.
So when I hit this, don't worry, we get a second to get your face together and sit back and then, we'll, yeah, because I always edit out the very beginning anyway. And we're okay. already recording for some reason. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, no. Okay, well, we're ready okay. to go. Yeah. Um, Oh, and they're talking too. That's going to be in the background too. Oh, that's fine. Probably I don't too know. Much. Uh...